All right, gosh, this is much better than being on a Zoom meeting. It's so nice to be back in person. My name's Clay Miner, head of sales and value engineering at Pendo. Pendo is a not so small startup. We're about 1,000 employees, 2,500 customers, many of which actually in the crowd. Um, I, we thank you for the business. Now, we exist for one reason, and that's to elevate the world's experience with software. 11 years ago, Andreessen Horowitz famously said, software is eating the world. And it's never been more true than today, right? As we exit this global pandemic, all institutions have had to adopt a digital first strategy, not only for the goods and services that they present to their customers, but for their employees who have been forced into work from home or hybrid work environments. And these employees have more digital tools that they need to use to do their work than ever before. I mean, heck, you guys sat through like 500 demos just today of great tools that your employees might be using in the future. Now, all this software is designed to be used, and Pindo makes sure it's being used the right way. Now, what's the value of using the right way? Well, for employees, it's all about productivity, keeping them in the flow of work and off the phone with the help desk. For IT leaders, it's all about optimizing the app uh, usage while minimizing spend. Now, to showcase this, I'm going to walk through three scenarios. We're going to start really high level, a CIO, a senior director, a, a technology leader, and we're going to look at a portfolio of applications across my workforce and the data-driven insights and opportunities that having this telemetry can provide me. We'll then shift gears into an application owner and dive deep into a single app and look at employee behavior and potential opportunities to help productivity. And finally, we'll look through the lens and introduce this idea of guidance We'll look through the lens of an employee con using a Pendo-powered application and uh, the guidance that they can receive on screen. So <clears throat> as mentioned, we're going to start with analytics. And we call this our portfolio overview. So the way Pendo works is we're deployed across all applications in an ecosystem, and we're sending telemetry back to a central location. What you're looking at, these blue bars, represent the number of employees who have logged in to an application in the last 30 days. And you can see the actual names of the applications across the bottom. So Gmail is the most used application with about 6,000 visitors, followed closely by Salesforce with about 5.5 thousand, right? Now, I can filter this down by certain teams or dimensions, but where this gets, and, and I guess, you know, this is valuable, certainly. There might be some, some low used applications. But where this gets really interesting is we start to slice and dice it with different measures. So now I'm looking at average time on these specific apps, and I'm seeing that the reporting suite of Microsoft Power BI and Looker have the actual longest sessions at two hours and five minutes. What's great is Pendo can connect to your identity providers, say Okta, ADFS, and bring in additional dimensions, such as you know, lo geolocation, office, business unit, team. And that's where we start to really unlock a lot of value. For example, I'm going to come in here and slice this by team. And a few things emerge. First, I can start to hover over different teams and showcase, wow, it looks like the finance team is heavy users of Salesforce and Looker. That makes sense. But as I scroll over, something becomes interesting. As a senior leader, I can see that, boy, we have both Box and Microsoft SharePoint. These are very similar tools, document repository. I may not even be aware that we have this. Box is being used by finance and IT, where SharePoint's being leveraged by product and design. There's not a CIO, CFO in the crowd right now that wouldn't jump at an opportunity to cut some spend, especially right now with the economic headwinds that we're facing. And a lot of our clients are using this to unlock areas of trimming. Now, I'm going to shift gears and dive deep into a specific application. To do so, I'm going to filter down, and we're going to look at a CRM. So I'm going to look at Salesforce. Now, not surprising, Salesforce is most heavily used by my sales and finance team. But I can go an extra layer in, right? I'm going to click on application usage and drop in and see top pages and features that my employees are leveraging inside Salesforce. <clears throat> As I scroll down, I can look at usage over time. Maybe we just shifted off a homegrown system over to Salesforce. We launched in late April, saw a nice uptick, and then a little dip, which is common, and then a nice up and to the right. App owners and change managers use this information to ensure that the software that is being out there for your employees is being leveraged the right way, right? I can even actually go deep and add individual pages or features and look at their usage over time. We see a lot of people-driven change management where we introduced a, a process change and we want to understand, is it actually being adopted or not? <clears throat> now, finally, with all this rich data, I can certainly go take action by changing my spending habits or, or additional training or process, right? But Pendo also provides the ability to take action in the product itself. 
So we're going to go to our third persona here and look through the lens of an employee actually consuming uh, an application. And of course, I lost my tab. But luckily, demo magic will get me back. <clears throat> now, the great thing about Pendo is it's capturing telemetry across all your employees. So it knows who I am. It knows what I have and haven't done. So for example, I might be a sales rep navigating through an opportunity or any other application of your choice. And Pendo can say, hey, this individual has not actually uh, learned about our new customer engagement process or hasn't learned about a certain change. So I can automatically remind them upon first login. <clears throat> In addition, we have a full qualitative engine which is tremendously important to listen to your employees, which is more difficult now than ever as people are so dispersed, to allow employees to share feedback. Hey, we just changed this. We're going to send a survey only to users of this certain change, and we're going to, we're going to figure out how they're feeling. So I can say, yeah, this was great. Now, other use cases that we commonly see is Pendo also provides on-screen guidance and kind of just-in-time support. So you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, uh, we have what we call our resource center. And this can be simple things from, hey, you know, at the end of every fiscal quarter, I have to do this certain thing, and I forget. So I can be guided through that experience by leveraging this resource center. <coughs> or other stuff, like ongoing corporate announcements. I think you know, email is dead. Slack is becoming even obnoxious. So hitting your users right in the experience is the greatest way to communicate. And we also see a lot of use cases around compliance. So detecting that a uh, cohort of, of employees may have not participated in security training. So on next login to their most used digital tool, we're going to present them with something like this. Now, there's so much more in the platform. I really appreciate you guys listening. Come back and see us. We're the big pink booth. Um, we're Pendo. Thanks so much.